Should I talk? I should. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Hi, I'm back. Uh, but I'm only here to introduce our next speaker, who's a fellow YouTuber and also a maker of random things, Alan Pan. Is this on? Can they hear me? Woo! All right. Wow, this is, this is so flipping cool. This is awesome. Um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> uh, my name is Alan Pan. Uh, I have a YouTube channel called Sufficiently Advanced. And uh, on that channel, I build real working versions of like sci-fi and fantasy props and weapons and superpowers. And uh, I don't know if you recognize the, uh, the reference. A lot of people don't actually get that. It's a quote from the legendary sci-fi author Arthur C. Clarke. And the quote is, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Um, and so that's, yeah, thank you. Yes, you'd be surprised how many people don't actually recognize that quote. But I think this audience is probably a biased population to test that. <laughs> uh, and I, I kind of use that as sort of the theme for my channel. Uh, now, uh, you may recognize some of my videos, either sort of the uh, most recent ones this year. And if, if they were gifts, oh, I think they go one at a time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is a punch-activated arm-mounted flamethrower. So <laughs> this, I strapped these onto an actual kung fu master, and uh, it, it was to replicate the superpower called firebending from Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. Wow, this is such a cool audience. <laughs> Uh, this other thing, let's see which one's going to play this time. Oh. Hit the button. Still waiting for connection. Should I hit it again? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's audio from a video clip that is supposed to play later. So uh, some of the other things that I've done include uh, building a home automation system controlled entirely with an ocarina. So oh, there's something's going on behind me. <laughs> And that's, of course, from, from Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Uh, another thing that I've made, which you saw in still image format, just try and keep that image in your mind, was a real burning lightsaber, which used a pressurized fuel, and it burned in like this nice, nice straight line. And that's pretty close to a plasma, so I think that that counts. Um, this, however, is probably my most famous video. If you're going like, I kind of recognize that guy, it's probably from this. So that's a replica of Thor's yeah. hammer. This guy can't lift it. Because it's got a giant electromagnet inside. It's also got a fingerprint scanner in the handle. So when I grab the handle, it becomes liftable because the magnet turns off. <laughs> So now that series of, of images and sounds hopefully makes more sense. Um, when I build something for YouTube, when I'm planning a YouTube video, I try and tie into pop culture, sci-fi, or fantasy. Um, now, you've probably heard sort of like comparisons for our comic books and stuff to like ancient mythology and legends. And when you think about it, it's, it's, it's true because there are all these fictional characters that we know the histories of uh, without necessarily having to actually research ourselves. I mean, I would, I would hazard a guess that most people in America are familiar with the general idea of Superman, even if they've never read a comic or seen any of the movies. They probably know, like, oh, yeah, he's the guy who flies, has super strength, came from another planet. And it's this sort of shared understanding that makes it really easy to try to, to pretty much get your foot in the door 
when you make a video based off of one of these things, it's just a way to already have sort of that familiarity, like the way that you guys like Legend of Korra and Avatar the Last Airbender, which is great. <laughs> uh, so this video, this video of, of the uh, real Mjolnir was because if you're familiar with the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know that Thor's hammer in the movies does three things. It flies, it shoots electricity, and only Thor can lift it, or Vision too, that, that one time. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, to sort of celebrate the fact that there is a new Thor movie right around the corner, no spoilers, I want to watch it opening day, uh, I have built a new hammer. This one is not unliftable, it's actually quite the opposite. This is a very light hammer. This hammer flies, <laughs> hopefully. So, to test this hammer out, and I really mean test, like if this successfully flies right now, it'll be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> to help me test out this hammer, uh, I'm going to need someone worthy, uh, perhaps a real-life goddess of thunder, Simone. Could you come help me out with this? I right, want to be so worthy. Let's hope that we're both worthy. So I'm going to turn this on, and just like Thor does in the movie, I have to initialize the hammer. So it has to stay still. <laughs> Just a few moments. There update? we go. Yeah, yeah. Magic firmware update. So there you go. Uh, Simone will help me uh, throw this hammer, and we're going to see if we can make that hammer fly over this way. Did you not see how bad I am at throwing? <laughs> That's why I had to build a special hammer to do it for you. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This isn't dangerous, but I mean, you know, okay. just... Okay, okay, okay. we're yeah. responsible. Seriously. Worst case scenario, this goes flying into the audience, but it weighs about 100 grams, so <laughs> not a big deal. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, I am arming the quadcopter inside. All right, I'm going to tell you when to let go, okay? Yeah. Okay. Let go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, that was, that was pretty okay. Is it still one piece? Can we give that another I try? I think so. Oh, uh, we, might be, we might be able to. We there's might a battery be able to. coming out. We're all good. The guts are hanging <sighs> out. I feel good. I feel good. How did that yeah, feel? Uh, good. <laughs> okay, it's armed. Let her go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Thank you so much, Simone. What, who, who was it that said failure is always an option? Is that? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, depending on what this next slide is, I'm going to know what I'm going to tell you. When, when I make a YouTube video, uh, it can basically be broken down into sort of three main steps, I think. So this first one is finding an object or a phenomenon from pop culture, sci-fi, or fantasy, and then figuring out what the one thing it's supposed to do is, like what the essence of it is. Like, for example, this hammer, Thor's hammer, it does a bunch of things, actually, but it's really easy to get caught up in, like, feature bloat, trying to make something do a ton of things, right? It, it's better to be good than to be perfect. So focus on one thing, and then once you've got that idea in mind, figure out what the closest real-world equivalent to that thing is. So as a case study, Flying Hammer, we have drones, and they're getting powerful now. They have a lot of thrust. And why would I have to redesign some kind of thrust mechanism when people much smarter than me have spent a ton of time already making this stuff work. So I like to try and find things that are off the shelf for that purpose. And then the final part is once you've built this thing, once you've got this thing and it exists, it's figuring out a way to demo it that's performative. Um, and by that I mean something that uses people and uses interaction and uses participation because like, it's one thing if I just like say, like, oh, this is the thrust of this drone, and that means it should be able to make the hammer fly this fast. It's another thing to get poor Simone up here to try and throw it with me. And it, that is sort of the thing that makes that demo um, special. Uh, and 
And it's important for me and for my channel to, 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 to do that, to bring people in, because it helps to show what's possible. Science fiction and reality have always had sort of this, this uh, Hall of Mirrors relationship, right? In, in 1945, Arthur C. Clarke actually came up with this idea for geostationary satellite communication. And 20 years later, 1965, it was real. So what happens is ideas tend to bounce from sci-fi to reality, and at every pass, the idea becomes a little more advanced and a little more sophisticated. And what I'd like to see is for that turnover rate to get a little faster than every 20 years. So I hope that by making these videos and showing people what's possible just by literally buying stuff off the shelf, uh, it, it inspires young people to finally invent that immortality serum for me, you know? <laughs> so uh, I don't know about you guys, but when the first Thor movie came out, uh, I wasn't that excited. I wasn't sold on it. I, I didn't really know anything about Thor at the time. And it's like, what, he's literally a Norse god? Like, that's a really stupid superpower. Um, <laughs> it is. He got bitten by a Norse god. Um, but, but I did see it because it's kind of perfunctory at this point to watch Marvel movies so you know what's going on. And uh, this happened. Your ancestors called it magic, and you call it science. Well, I come from a place where they're one and the same thing. So, okay, ignoring the, the cheesiness of the thing in general, Marvel did something really neat there. They, they made Thor into not a deity, but an advanced alien. An alien with technology that was so advanced, it looked like magic. It was sufficiently advanced technology. So I think it's, it's so fitting that uh, the, the, the second video I ever put on YouTube was of this magic hammer made into a real hammer from this movie that sort of shared that, that theme that my YouTube channel was aiming for. And that video was what started my whole YouTube career. It's, it's the reason why I'm standing on this stage right now. Uh, and, and the whole thing is, is crazy. I mean, look at this. Uh, so, so, I did, I did mention that there were three things that Mjolnir, Thor's hammer, does. It's unliftable, unless you're Thor. It flies, and also shoots electricity. Uh, so, that, that's my channel. Uh, <laughs> I figure we, we should just go through this process sort of in real time. So, the first thing is we've got Thor's hammer. This is a piece of pop culture. Like, this is pretty recognizable. You all probably know what this is. And the one thing that I want to focus on it doing is shooting electricity. Now, what do I have that's just off the shelf that I can just go to the hardware store and get just to put something together? Well, uh, I don't know if you guys know what this is. This is, <laughs> I'm glad you do. It's kind of weird to have to explain this. To, to If you don't know, this is, a, this is a bug zapper in a sort of swatter format. So. You, you probably can't even see that, but there's sparks coming off of this. So, I mean, it's a decent voltage, but it's a very small amount of power. Um, but we got something going here. We've got two things, and they seem like if they come together, they could do exactly what I want to do. Now, what I have here <laughs> is very dangerous. Now, it looks just like that costume hammer, because it is. It's literally that same costume hammer, only these things are hollow. When we pop open the hood here, what we'll see is... <laughs> these are big capacitors. If you, know, if you know anything about electronics, you know that a capacitor stores electrical energy. And this thing in the back, this light, it's literally the bug zapper circuit from one, of, from one of these. So I took that out, and this whole time, it's been charging these giant capacitors. And this is, this is reading at like 600 some volts right now. It's pretty good, so I'm actually going to put these on. So <laughs> if you remember now, we're, we're at step three now, right? We, we've put our thing together, and you'd think that we'd be done, but uh, we still need to demonstrate this, and 
you know, it's, it's one thing to just like tell you the voltage and then maybe slap it against a piece of metal and ooh and ah. Or we can, we, can, we can make this a little more of a performance, raise the stakes a little bit, and we can use something like Norm's very fancy, expensive-looking, actual aluminum Captain America shield. <laughs> and can we tilt it up at all? <laughs> Simone, do you want to? No, why would I want to? This is going to, we're going to zap something here. So I, I'm now going to test. And mind you, this is actually the first time I've tested it at this voltage because I want to make sure that if anything failed spectacularly, it happened on stage. It should be a nice little spark. So uh, I think at, the, uh, at a three count, I'm going to go ahead and hit the star of this hammer, and we'll see what happens. So could I get some help from you all? Could I get a count from three, a classic countdown from three? So three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, do you see that, Norm? I'm so, this is actually a shield. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel, Sufficiently Advanced. Okay. Enjoy the show. <laughs>